Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Seeking Discovery. We've been making some really good progress on the bus. Um, we've got all the subfloor out and it's down to the bare metal, so that's getting ready to be treated for rust conversion and then needs to be painted and primed. But before we do that, my goal is to get all of the side panel and ceiling panels out of the bus. So like most buses, my bus behind me has rivets in it instead of screws. So that means I've had to figure out how to get those rivets popped so that we can take those panels out in the most efficient way possible. Welcome to Seeking Discovery. I'm Ryan and I have a passion for travel and building things. At the end of 2020, I decided it'd be a great idea to purchase my very own school bus to convert into a tiny house. So come along as I make mistakes, learn a lot, and make lasting memories turning this old bus into a new tiny home. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to follow along on all the adventures. I look forward to sharing this with all of you. And as always, continue to explore every day. So I did try out a variety of different techniques and I've settled on a combination of some to get the job done. I was hoping that the air chisel and the air punch would work like I've seen online, but I think the air compressor I'm using is just too small to be able to make the air chisel efficient, but the punch with the air hammer does work. So I have been using that to punch out all the rivets and then coming back with a chisel and a small mallet and just giving it five or six wax and the head of the rivets are popping off. So it is a little bit more energy, but it's going pretty quick. And then on the lower side panels where there's aluminum rivets, I've actually taken the big drill that we use to get the track out of the floor, put in a different drill bit, and have been drilling those out. And that's been working really well on the aluminum ones. But for the bigger steel ones in the ceiling and some of the side panels, those really need to be popped with the air hammer and then come back in with a chisel and a hammer and just whack them till they snap. So let's get to it and finish getting out the side panels and the rest of the ceiling. The easiest way to get these side panel rivets out that I have found is to take a big drill with a bit and come in and just drill them out. So I'll show you how I do that real quick. It's as easy as that. Took the top, top right off so that rivet is no longer holding anything in. For some of the rivets that are a little bit more difficult to get out, I come in with the air hammer with a punch attachment and give it a good tap. And that knocks the inside of the rivet out so it's a lot easier to drill them out if they're stuck or come in with a chisel and a hammer and give it a good few wax and the heads of the rivet will pop right off. So that didn't take too long to finish up the rest of this panel, but with the emergency window here, and able to, or in order to get the rest of it out, we have to take these screws out of here, pull the window out, and there's usually a couple of hidden rivets behind this window trim. So that's what I'm gonna do next. So to do that, I'm just gonna come in with my impact driver, So now that we've got the base out, the next thing we need to do is take off the side brackets and these four anchor screws that are holding the window in. And having a good impact really makes this job easier. I've been using my Makita tools for this entire build and I've really been enjoying them. And each time I take out hardware from a window, I've got a bin at the back of the bus that I'm keeping all that hardware in so I can keep track of it. So now we've got all the hardware out of the emergency window. The only thing to remember is your bus may have a window sensor here for the vehicle when it starts. So to take it out, we're actually not gonna close that, but we're just gonna grab it up here Give it a little bit of a pop. Use your thumbs to apply some pressure and it should pop very easily. And just pull it towards you, wiggle it a little bit. And you can see there's that wire from the window sensor. And since I already did the other side, I know that if I disconnect these or disconnect this, I won't have any issue. The bus will still start and it will actually stop 
the alarm from triggering. Well, that works. And just like I thought, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six hidden rivets on that trim. So these are the last six rivets that need to come out to take this big section of lower panel out. Sometimes when the heads are stubborn, like this one here, I'll come back in with the punch and give it a tap. And that'll make drilling out the rest of it easier. There we go, last rivets out of that panel. And now with a little bit of persuasion from the pry bar, we should be able to get the rest of this panel out. Now that the whole piece is out, I'm gonna to toss it out the back of the bus. Well, we're making good progress on the bus. It is a warm one today here in Florida, but as you can see behind me, all the side panels are off. So the next task is to tackle these ceiling panels. So the other day when I was out here at the bus, I actually did get one of them off. And the easiest way I found to do it because these are steel rivets was to come in with the air hammer, with the punch, punch each one, and then come back with the chisel and hammer and just manually whack them. Um, like I mentioned earlier, the air compressor I'm using isn't big enough to use the air chisel, and it's just more efficient and faster. A little bit more work, but doing it by hand to knock the heads off seems to be working pretty good. Well, it looks like I forgot to do an outro for today's video. So if you like this kind of content, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment below what you wanna see next. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to hit that subscribe button to see the school bus become a new tiny house.